Are you tired of playing hide-and-seek games with rats in your home and curious about how to rid your home of these pests without breaking the bank? Our latest video will show you how to create a homemade rat poison using everyday ingredients, giving those pesky rodents a taste of their own medicine. So, grab some household items and join us as we cook up a clever concoction guaranteed to send those critters running. Ready, set, let the extermination begin. Here are the best natural ingredients to make rat poison. 1. Baking soda. If you want to add a little bait to your homemade rat poison, consider mixing one part of baking soda with one part powdered chocolate or sugar and cornmeal. Baking soda is a powerful agent that disrupts the rat's digestive system when ingested. It creates carbon dioxide when it mixes with stomach acid, leading to ruptures and internal blockages since rats cannot pass gas. When mixed with the sweetness of powdered chocolate or sugar and the tempting texture of cornmeal, it becomes an irresistible bait for those critters on the hunt for an easy snack. Imagine those sneaky rats' faces when they think they've hit the jackpot with some tasty treat, only to find out they've been lured into their downfall. So go ahead and drop this lethal concoction in areas where rats frequent. Remember to wear disposable gloves when handling ingredients and keep them away from children and pets. 2. Plaster of Paris The infamous plaster of Paris is a humble substance with a deadly secret. Who would have thought that this innocuous household item could hold the power to eradicate pesky rodents? When you mix it with enticing bait, such as peanut butter, cornmeal, powdered chocolate, and sugar, plaster of Paris transforms from a mere building material to a lethal trap for unwanted rats. Its quick-drying nature means those furry nuisances don't stand a chance, as the hardened mixture becomes an unforgiving end for any unsuspecting rodent. The flaw with this recipe is the addition of water. As soon as plaster of Paris contacts water, it begins to harden, and you don't want that to happen until the mice eat the bait. Mice are picky eaters and probably won't consume much of the hardened mixture, and even if they do, the small amount of plaster they manage to ingest will probably pass harmlessly through their system. The active ingredient in plaster of Paris is calcium carbonate, which is an odorless and tasteless powder. No mouse will eat it by itself, but if you mix it with something they will eat, they won't notice it's there and are more likely to ingest a fatal dose. Whatever you use as the bait must be dry, though, to ensure the plaster is still active when the mouse eats it. Here are a few suggestions. Mincemeat. Mix half a cup of dried mincemeat in a bowl with half a cup of plaster of Paris and set the bowl out for the mice to find. Flour and sugar. Combine one part each of flour and sugar with two parts plaster of Paris. Ground nuts. Mice love nuts and the smell attracts them. Grind up half a cup of nuts into a powder and mix it with half a cup of plaster of Paris. Powdered chocolate. Chocolate has an even stronger aroma than nuts and mice can't resist it especially if it contains sugar. Mix 5 tablespoons of powdered chocolate in a bowl with 8 tablespoons of plaster of Paris. Peanut butter. Mix equal parts of cheap peanut butter and plaster of Paris. Peanut butter doesn't contain water, so it won't activate the plaster. If you use stale peanut butter, you can even form the bait into mouse balls that will actually work. When a mouse eats the bait, the plaster enters its system and begins to harden, causing abdominal cramps. Mice can't vomit, so they'll probably try to alleviate the pain by drinking water, especially if you use chocolate or peanut butter as bait. This only makes matters worse for them, and they usually die within two to four hours of ingestion. 3. Mashed potatoes. That's right, those creamy, comforting spuds can turn into lethal weapons when combined with the right ingredients. Although turning a beloved side dish into rodent eradication may seem counterintuitive, you can lace mashed potatoes with toxic substances like boric acid, sugar, and chocolate to create a deadly trap for pesky rodents. The appeal of using mashed potatoes as a base for rat poison lies in the ability to mask the taste of any added toxins and entice unsuspecting rats and mice. Plus, the soft texture makes it easier for them to consume the lethal mixture without suspicion. You can also supply the rodents with water, as drinking water on potatoes can lead to excessive bloating and demise in rats. Next time you whip up a batch of mashed potatoes for dinner, 
you might consider how they could also serve as an unexpected weapon in the battle against rodents. Ensure you keep the bait out of reach of pets and children. 4. Boric acid and chicken broth. It might sound like the start of a strange culinary experiment. But in the world of homemade rat poison, these two ingredients have an unexpected synergy. Combining boric acid with the savory richness of chicken broth can create a lethal concoction for those pesky rodents. This devious blend lures unsuspecting rats with the promise of a delicious meal while delivering a deadly blow. To make a boric acid rat poison, pour one cup of boric acid into a bowl and add half a teaspoon of bone broth at a time. Stir the mixture after every addition until you have a thick paste. Roll the paste into balls and place them around areas where rats hide. The bone broth's aroma attracts them, while the boric acid eventually kills them. 5. Bleach and peanut butter. While these two items are usually kept far apart in most households, they can create an effective rat poison. The idea may seem bizarre at first, but think about it. Rats are attracted to the smell of foods, which could mask any potentially off-putting odor from poisons like bleach. Mix one tablespoon of bleach with two tablespoons of peanut butter in a ceramic or glass container and stir well. Plastic bowls may react when they come in contact with bleach. Place the container in areas where you usually spot rats and allow the concoction to do its magic. When using this unconventional recipe for homemade rat poison, adhere to safety precautions. Handling bleach requires careful attention and proper protective gear. Also, ensure this concoction is only accessible to pests. No one wants their furry family members mistakenly snacking on a dangerous treat. So, while peanut butter and bleach may not seem compatible, they might make a surprisingly formidable duo when dealing with rats. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to Natural Health Remedies, and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on, a few drops of this magic formula and rats and mice will disappear forever. Thanks for watching and bye for now.